I'm Julie Bartke with this Senate Update. If you look closely at your facial cream, you might find that there are these little plastic microbeads inside of that cream. Well, those beads are finding their way into the nation's waterways, including the Great Lakes. A hearing on Tuesday in the Senate Environment and Energy Committee will address that issue. We caught up with the committee chair, Senator John Marty, to preview the hearing. What do you know about the problem as you head into your committee? How did it you know, how did it come to your attention? Most people weren't even aware that these microbeads exist. These are really tiny particles of plastic that are inserted often into skin cleansing lotions to scrub the skin and so on. And people weren't aware of it and so on, but in the last few years it's just exploded the number of products that contain this. And these microbeads show up in the waters. The water treatment plants don't have filters small enough to catch these. They show up in the Great Lakes, they show up in the oceans, in rivers, everywhere else. And it's causing huge environmental problems, huge problems for fish. Uh, the fish we consume um, get more toxins in them by swallowing these tiny plastic beads. So what can the state do about something like this? It seems to be a national issue. Well, what we're trying to do is what Illinois did recently, and that is ban the sale of the manufacturing sale of these products consuming excuse me, of products that contain these microplastic beads, saying you can't sell them for these consumer soaps and products like that. What can consumers do as this is going through the process? What do you want Minnesotans to know? And then what if banning these products proves to be pretty problematic? What could you do? Uh, first of all, it shouldn't be problematic. We didn't have them in the products years ago. There are other things you can use. I think some people use like apricot shells, ground up and so on. They use various coarse materials which serve the same purpose and that do biodegrade instantly or very quickly. So they're not harmful. They work. There are alternatives. If somebody wants a scrubbing powder type of thing in their lotions, they can use natural alternatives. So we want to have that happen. And so consumers can choose, first of all, try to look in the products to see if they contain microbeads or not. And if they do, don't buy those products. Senator, you have a hearing scheduled for this on Tuesday. What do you anticipate? Well, first of all, we've had some support from bipartisan co-authors on this, so it's a good bipartisan bill. We're very hopeful Minnesota will act. I think this is going to be one of those environmental issues that get responded to very quickly. I think it's likely to pass in a number of states this year, and I think realistically that's going to drive them out of the market within a couple of years. And real quickly, when the state of Minnesota banned bisphenol A, BPA and products, it was still found on some store shelves. So how do you enforce something like this if indeed it is banned? This one, first of all, it'll be fairly easy to tell because you can just look at a, you, BPA is harder to detect, but this you can just pour it out on a on a screen type of thing and you can see them show up. So I think it'll be enforceable, self-enforceable, and I realistically think, unlike BPA, I think this is going to happen nationally within a few years. Okay. Senator Marty, thank you. My pleasure.